So with this boy we use the simple drill I showed you before where the racket is on the ground and he has to swing following the racket's shape. Of course I make sure that he is focused on the hip rotation too when he accelerates forward. We repeated this drill quite a few times in the following sessions since it takes quite a few repetitions to change stroke technique. And here's how he was hitting recently. So with this boy we use the simple drill I showed you before where the racket is on the ground and he has to swing following the racket's shape. Of course I make sure that he is focused on the hip rotation too when he accelerates forward. We repeated this drill quite a few times in the following sessions since it takes quite a few repetitions to change stroke technique. And here's how he was hitting recently. All tennis strokes, all ground strokes, they always start outwards in order to create centrifugal force with which we accelerate the racket when we rotate the body and the, we automatically create an inside out swing path that is accelerating the racket and after that we give the ball some direction. And so the swing path and the drop of the racket does not happen just in this plane it happens in a combination, so the racket always goes this way outwards and then while it's dropping it's probably also moving across, it's not just dropping down like this or like this. It's always in a circular motion, this way, this way, or, or uh, the back end goes always outward and like this, and two-handed back end goes this way and this way does not go up and down. One-handed back and does not go up and down. There is always a circular element of the stroke that helps us accelerate the racket with the hip rotation. Here's one-handed and here's two-handed. And here's an example of a forehand of a 10-year-old boy that wasn't really using an outwards backswing but was pulling the arm just straight back and behind his back he had a pause there and also became quite tense. This is the second most common backswing mistake on all ground strokes. So with this pros use the universal swing path on all strokes whether that's a forehand, one-handed backhand or a two-handed backhand. Of course some use it more and some use it less but they all use it. And by universal swing path I mean a sideways swing path that you may not have noticed until now. I'll explain now how this swing path happens and how to learn it 